So Danny Garcia's next fight is on August 1st this year against Paulie Malinaji? What? <laughs> what the fuck has happened to Danny Garcia, man? You know, back when he knocked out Amir Khan and beat Lucas Matisse, he could do no wrong. He was the new golden boy. He was right up there with Canelo before he lost to Mayweather. That's how Danny Garcia was seen. But since th them times, he got a gift decision over Mauricio Herrera. He decided to take on a club fighter in Rod Salka. And then he had a very another controversial decision over Lamont Peterson. And even if you rewind back a little bit, he obviously fought a washed up Zab Judah. And he had a rematch against a washed up Eric Morales. And now he's going to take on Paulie Malinaji for his first fight at 147 pounds. Malinaji's literally being dug up out of his grave by Uncle Al to fight Danny Garcia. I mean, Malinaji's like the new Zab Judah. And he became the new Zab Judah when he beat Judah. <laughs> now Malinaji's the guy they dig up out the grave when they want to give someone an easy title defense although this won't be a title defense but you know what I'm saying Zab Judah was just getting constant uh, title shots against all types of different champions and Malinaji is the guy that's doing that they obviously did it with Porter and now Malinaji will be coming back off a long layoff to take on Danny Garcia at 147 pounds terrible man terrible 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 this guy got obliterated by Sean Porter how long ago ain't fought since now he's fighting Garcia. <laughs> the cherry team. And you know what? Props to Angel Garcia <laughs> for kind of making a joke out of this whole cherry team thing. He says, okay, you call us cherry pickers. And he's running with it. And he's posting a bunch of videos on Instagram and Facebook and all over the place. Embracing that cherry team, <laughs> you know, title that people are giving him. It is what it is. Some people, are, but some people believe that Danny Garcia could actually lose this fight here against Malinaji. He didn't look good against Peterson. And he is a guy that struggles with movement. So it's not beyond the realms of possibility, but I don't think so. I think Danny Garcia is going to win this fight. And I think he's going to win it pretty decisively. Paulie's coming off a long layoff. He took a terrible beating against Sean Porter. And even though Danny Garcia is slow on his feet and he does struggle with movement, I don't think Paulie's got enough left to be able to pull it off against Garcia. Don't get it twisted. He'll be motivated and excited for this opportunity, but nah, man, I can only see Danny Garcia winning the fight. Maybe if it was the Paulie of a few years ago, maybe even the one who beat that Ukrainian guy, the one who knocked out Ricky Hatton, his name escapes me at the moment. Maybe that version of Paulie might have had a chance. Maybe the Paulie that fought Broner might have had a chance or the one that fought Khan, but the Paulie of today, being out the ring for so long, Last fight, he was wiped out by Porter. How old is Paulie now as well? Is he like 35 or something? 36? I don't know how old he is. I can't see him beating Danny Garcia. And it's just a gimme fight for Garcia. But maybe you disagree. Drop your comments below. Let me know how you feel. It's Hatman. I'm out.